5.0 of Genshin Impact is going to be its most ambitious patch yet. Why is that? Isn't previous X.0 patches just as big as this one? Well, let me fill you in on why Genshin needs this patch to go swimmingly. Oh, I've been waiting to say that word for a while, you don't understand. Anyways, well, how about we start it off with the behemoth Wuthering Waves, which is Genshin's current top contender for, you know, the most amount of competition along the likes of HSR, which is, you know, still Hoyoverse, but I guess it's still a competitor. Wuthering Waves has hit the top charts in both downloads worth worldwide as well as china which is massive which means it has also topped genshin impact not only that in fact genshin hasn't been nominated for mobile game of the year despite being nominated every year prior so that means that this year suddenly they're no longer in the top game of the year well i i guess players just voted other games such as honkai star rail which is another one of uh hoyo versus games and is critically acclaimed actually it's actually a pretty good game i've played it i still play it it is a pretty fun game actually and yeah anyways other than that being a thing ancient just is no longer nominated in the mobile game of the year. What does that mean? It means alarm in the Genshin Impact HQ. The developers are like, okay, we need to start, you know, developing something big. We're gonna start cooking up something. And then we have 5.0 Genshin Impact. I'm, I mean, they were working on 5.0 for years probably now. But now that they've seen maybe some of the backlash, they might, they might, I don't know, they might do some changes. I doubt they do because, you know, it's Genshin, we haven't really seen changes like that. But what this might indicate is just a certain amount of urgency from the Genshin Impact team to do something more extravagant for this patch. And, well, just possibly making Natlan's characters must hold. That's right. Power creep is on its way. Okay, I'm I'm just making a guess. It's just a simple guess, but that is usually what happens to gacha games when they want of uh, you know the player base to stay. They want to keep their player base. And how do they do that? They want it to keep grinding to obtain, you know, prima gems, whatever the currency is so that you can obtain the new character that is going to be changing the game whether it's the game's meta whether it's just how you traverse in the world whether i don't know what it might be but they're probably going to do that if they really sense that they are you know they're no they're no longer top dog and hsr is being top dog whether in waves is top dog right now so genshin's like hey you should probably do something about that well, at least that's, you know, if they're going to be doing that for this patch. And all of this is just, if this was truly the case, then we would be in for a wild ride for 5.0 of Genshin Impact. That means that we might get those cool characters, we might get something crazy, we've already seen some cool stuff from the uh, live stream, right? We've seen some of the cool a traversing stuff they could do with the pokemon quote unquote that we've seen and um, you know you transform into them and then you do some weird stuff in the overworld it just looks pretty cool anyway and then we've seen some of the new characters like Mualani. we've seen uh Kinich. we haven't seen gameplay yet but it is looking pretty promising now are they going to be the best in the game i'm not saying that i'm just saying that they might do something special with them that makes us a little more hooked onto 5.0 of genshin impact and not to mention on genshin's twitter they've already announced when the live stream is going to be which is going to be the 16th of august which is you know pretty close but also kind of far because usually It'll be like two weeks before the patch is in that they would do a live stream. But since they're doing, you know, they've already announced it. 
that means it's going to be pretty special. I'm not quite sure if they've done that previous re you know, years, but if they have, it is what it is, and you guys know why. And it is going to be interesting to say the you know to say the least. I personally am going to be going for the Natlin characters, and I might not obtain Emily, which is unfortunate. But I'm just so excited for the likes of Kinnich and Mavuika that uh, yeah, I just might decide to skip these characters. So is Genshin really going to be putting their you know their all? Is it going to be the most ambitious patch? I think so. I really do think that they're going to put a lot into this patch to try to be at least a contender from that top spot once again. Oh yeah, that's going to be pretty much it from me. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video very soon. Goodbye.